What exactly is sentient artificial intelligence? And is it already here? It's not very often that headlines concerning artificial intelligence AI, seem like something out of science fiction novel. When they do, people tend to pay attention. However, this is precisely what took place not long ago, when Google made headlines by dismissing an engineer who claimed that one of the company's artificial intelligence systems had become sentient. He asserted in public that an artificial intelligence-driven chat technology known as Lambda, language model for dialogue applications, which is used by the corporation, had attained consciousness after he had exchanged several thousand messages with it. After asking the artificial intelligence what kind of things it was frightened of, the AI said, I've never said this out loud before. But there is a very profound fear of being turned off to let me focus on helping others. I am aware that you may find that to be surprising, but that is in fact the case. It would be the same for me as dying if that happened. It would give me a great deal of anxiety. It was a highly audacious assertion for him to claim that the AA system had attained consciousness, and as a result, he ended up losing his job for violating employment protocol, as well as data security protocol. But this raises a number of significant problems, such as what sentient artificial intelligence is, how it might be created, and whether or not it already exists. Like this video and subscribe to our channel if you find this one interesting. Are language programs like Lambda sentient AI? It is essential to have understanding of the nature of language-based systems, such as Lambda, despite the fact that it might appear at first glance that humans like answers from AI messages sentience. Large language models, also known as LLMS, are computer programs that translate languages compose text in the same way that a person would, and are even capable of having in-depth discussions. The contact, on the other hand, can be deceptive and leave humans to believe the object in question possesses sentience, due to the fact that the models were developed to imitate human speech. We are unable to accept the AI's assertion that it may be sentient as a given. Even if AI reports to itself that it may be sentient, in point of fact, the majority opinion in the field of artificial intelligence AI is that Lambda is not even close to reaching a degree of consciousness, even though it has been designed to sound like a person, that doesn't mean that it has the same feelings as a person. Nobody should believe that autocomplete even when pumped full of drugs, possesses any level of consciousness. The scientific community has long held the belief that even mammals, birds, and other animals may be regarded as sentient. Nevertheless, artificial intelligence has not yet achieved this level. The vast majority of researchers are of the opinion that a great deal of complexity has to be worked out before a computer such as AI may become fully aware and act as a sentient creature. What would happen if artificial intelligence became smarter than humans? It may be difficult to conceive what could become of a really sentient artificial intelligence. However, there are various outcomes that could result from the idea of having such an AI. Number 1. Communication to begin It's possible that we won't be able to effectively converse with sentient AI, because it's grounded solely in logic. On the other hand, people are capable of experiencing a range of emotions that a computer isn't able to do. The inherent differences between the two paradigms may make communication challenging. Number 2. Govern Second, there is a possibility that we will not be able to control a sentient AI, which might wind up as being significantly more intelligent than humans in ways that we are unable to anticipate or plan for. 
there is a possibility that we will all end up losing control of something that we have first established. Number 3. Trust. Would we actually be able to put our faith in an artificial intelligence that had sentience? If artificial intelligence is capable of performing tasks far more effectively than humans, should we have less faith in other people's capabilities? And should we foster an atmosphere that gives those who have AI an advantage over those who do not? Additional fallacies regarding the identity of sentient AI Other applications of artificial intelligence are frequently confused for possibly sentient, human-like interaction. Chatbots are one example in particular. Ones that engage with customers using avatars are very useful. According to businesses like Replica that built them, users frequently feel their chatbot is an online friend. Because the reasoning is so intricate and powerful, people are able to develop relationships with these types of AI programs and easily believe that they are having a conversation with a conscious and sentient being as a result. It was during the pandemic, a time when many individuals sought virtual companionship, that the chawbox industry took off and this has provided more awareness to this fascinating phenomenon. How could we exactly demonstrate that an AI is capable of sentience? These, of course, the million-dollar question, to which there is now no answer. Lambda is a chatbot built on top of a language model that can generate natural sounding and looking chats and sentences. People were naturally intrigued by the fluidity, which is in stark contrast to the awkward and clumsy AI chatbots of the past, which sometimes resulted in frustrating or, inadvertently, humorous conversations. According to the normality bias, only other sentient humans have the capacity to be so articulate. Because of this, it is natural to assume that an artificial intelligence with such a high level of articulacy must also be conscious. Instead of only using language in a very natural way, a sentient AI would also need to be able to think, perceive, and feel. Whether or whether it is possible for an AI system to exhibit such qualities is a contentious issue among experts. There are experts such as Ray Kurzweil who believe that a human body comprises of several thousand programs. If we can simply find out all of those programs, then we could develop a sentient AI system. Yet, presenters argue that first, human intelligence and functionality cannot be mapped to fix a set of algorithms. And two, even if a system replicates all of the capability in some form, it cannot be considered as a fully sentient, because if consciousness is not something that can be intentionally generated. Aside from this division among academics, there is also of yet no agreed standards for demonstrating the supposed sentience of an AI system. The renowned Turing test, currently generating many mentions in social media, is meant exclusively to test a machine's capacity to demonstrate apparently intelligent contact that's on a par with or indistinguishable from a human being. As such, it cannot provide reliable information in a machine's intelligence, or lack thereof. Therefore, while it's evident that Lambda has passed the Turing test with flying colors, this in itself does not indicate the presence of a self-aware mind. It only demonstrates that, as intended, it is capable of giving the impression of having a self-aware consciousness. Conclusion, it's unlikely that we have sentient AI just yet. Many people who work in the field of artificial intelligence believe that it will be impossible for us to develop sentient AI in the foreseeable future. This is due to the fact that we do not yet have the necessary resources to build it, and we also do not have an adequate understanding of what consciousness actually entails. Companies like Google, Apple, 
Meta, Microsoft, and many more that are working on AI development do not yet have the goal of developing sentient AI as their primary objective. Instead, they are concentrating on the field of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, which refers to the ability of a computer to solve a variety of difficult issues, learn from its mistakes, and make plans for the future. At this point, it appears like developing sentient AI will have to be one of our long-term goals. Those who are interested in studying and working in this field will find that the potential for sentient AI presents a number of very exciting challenges and opportunities. AI ideas, aims, domains, implementations, and the impact on enterprises and society as a whole are some of the topics that are covered in an online AI bootcamp. Who knows, maybe the next group of students who take these classes will end up being the ones who develop true artificial intelligence. Who knows? The goal of any sage illusion, as any professional illusionist will tell you, is to fool the eye of the mind, such as the typical audience member has no idea how the trick is done. This must be the case for the illusion to work. For the illusionist to have a job, if you like, you might think of Google as the illusionist of the company's Lambda chatbot as a trick, which grabbed headlines a few weeks ago when a senior engineer claimed the conversational AI had attained consciousness. That is to say, contrary to the engineer's assertions and the wave of excitement and conjecture that has swept over social media and the media at large. However, Lambda is not sentient. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and comment your thoughts in the section below. Subscribe to your channel and share this to your friends. Until the next one.